We're about to go see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. The sun is shining though it is quite cold still. So we're gonna go to the Palace Theatre and go finally watch it. I'm so excited. Neither of us have any idea what the actual show is about. Right. Are you really? I've heard a really good thing as well, so I'm hoping it lives up to the, Me too. the hype. Yeah. I'm hoping they have some nice Harry Potter chocolates there that I can buy to take home. If they don't, honestly, I will be. I want a woman to be walking around with a trolley giving anything off the trolley days. <laughs> if they haven't got that, then they've failed. I've got Marketing. a feeling they won't have that though. Marketing's failed then. We were gonna go get lunch, but our original train here got cancelled, so we got on a later train. So now I don't really think we're gonna have time, so we just got a cheeky little meal deal. We've got some dinner planned uh, for in between because it's two shows in one day, so it's gonna be a lot of sitting down, like it's like five hours worth of theatre today. Looking forward to seeing Me too. Looking forward to seeing who plays Harry and Hermione because they've got to be in it, haven't they? Because Hermione's now the um, Minister of Magic because she's got to be in it now, hasn't she? Surely. And Harry's obviously got to be in it because I'm pretty sure the plays about his son. Um, so I'm intrigued to see who plays them and also who plays Albus and Scorpius. Oh, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Nick just did uh, two Pokemon raids whilst we're in London because I've got I've got to do a hundred raids which it's just a long it's a long journey I've got to go on so I'm glad we've just won two of the <laughs> nerds just sat there in the middle of central London just playing off my phone. We're actually like a mega early, um, which you know is pretty unheard of if you ask me. <laughs> I like to, I like to Yeah, I get thrills from running around, you know, like wondering whether we're gonna make it or not. <laughs> have a leisurely walk over there now. We have arrived at the Palace Theatre and this, this is where we're going guys, oh I'm so excited. They're nice, but they're like, they are the cursed child, do you know what I mean? Like, the, it's not just like a standard Harry Potter thing. So that's quite nice, this little flask. Can I have a look at the, how much was it, five pounds? Five pounds. Nick has just bought a, what are they called? A program. A program. This is a nice memory for you to have though. God, just look how good our seats are, honestly. We're on like the dress circle and there's like two layers above us. So we're like the second of four. So honestly, it's really not bad. And this is our view of the stage. And also the theatre is actually beautiful, the Palace Theatre. Look how pretty. We've got such good seats on so excited. Guys, we just came out of part one and literally all I have to say, all I have to say about part one is like what the fuck because I'm like, oh, about <laughs> two minutes into that, the, the tears, I was just like this is so magical, like what the hell? Oh, I you like it. <laughs> it's so good. What, wait, what do, you, what do you think? What do you think? I think it's really good, I think like, the, the way they do the, like, the little magic tricks. Really cool. The special effects on stage are just like... I really like those dimensions. Just to... They're so cool. Like the way that first show just ended. Like, it, oh, it was so sick. There was like Dementors that were like flying over the stage and it looked so realistic that it was actually a bit scary. Like it genuinely was like was actual Dementors. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. But no, the story is so good and like they've left it as like to be continued and then they'll pick up the story later in the second part. But can you find out where I'm going? Like, but I'm enjoying this so much so far. Like I think the story is really interesting as well. I'm not going to give away any spoilers or anything, but basically it follows Harry's and Draco's son, Albus Potter and Scorpius Malfoy, and basically they go to Hogwarts. They're actually friends. Things happen, and they basically end up using a time turner. I don't want to give away the plot in case you know you want to watch it and you don't know what it's about. But oh, boys, it's. I'm, I'm so, I've never seen special effects like this in a theatre show before, no. genuinely, it's so impressive. Look, there's people just genuinely appearing and disappearing on yeah, stage. Yeah, I think that's like amazing. In a way where it's like, yeah, stuff, like, it's like you can't see them doing it, like you can't see them like, you know, disappearing down the stage door or like scuffling off the stage, like it, it genuinely looks like they're appearing or reappearing, it's so cool. Like, it's being cast well as well. It's interesting to see who's playing Harry, Ron, Hermione. You know the one? 
Burger time. I haven't tried here before. Be a bit of trouble. Yeah, I like yeah, the I oh, I thought it was trouble. Oh, I don't know. Genuinely, that was nicer than Fat Hippo, which we went to last weekend. It was one of the best burgers I've had in a very long time. Like, it was 10 10. I don't know if it was better, but I didn't enjoy it. <sighs> mine, was, mine, was mine was better. You, yeah, yours was probably the same. But that was unreal. I had these like truffle and parmesan fries. Oh my god, they were so good. Nick had some loaded fries, like 10 out of 10. Veggie burger and truffle burger. Bloody get it. It was so, so good. But we were sat by this couple, right? Who sounded quite posh. They said they were like quite well spoken. I tell he was posh. There was eating burgers before. Yeah, they cooked. They cooked but like it wasn't just like a for ease, it was like they really slowly savoured the burger. Listen, I ain't got a problem with that, do what you want. But the, the one I do have a problem with is the man was rude as fuck to the white, white staff. The guy who was like serving us, gave us our food and one of us was like looking after us. Um, he was so rude to that man because he he basically came over too early with the bill and he wasn't finished with his wine. And he was basically like accusing him of being like rushing him out and like saying oh we know you want to get people out and like but look the way he was doing it was just so arsy like he sounded like he was a bit tipsy like borderline tipsy that posh the posh guy we sat right next to us because the tables are like proper tight in there he just looked like such a knob honestly i did nearly say something but then i was like i don't, I don't know if i can say anything here because it's just me against a grown man like but if, if my partner spoke like that to someone, I'd be so embarrassed. Yeah, I'd be fuming. I, I agree. I just. It was gross. I agree. It was disgusting. And the poor guy. I wouldn't mind how much money you had away. That's what I mean. How gross, honestly. It's like, oh. We just like left pretty soon after that because it was just like, oh. But we still we still have like an hour, well, over an hour to be fair. I was going to suggest getting snacks for the second show like some chocolate or something but I'm actually really full now those fries man the parmesan I love truffle fries man have a have a place in my heart forever just something about London tonight that I just really <laughs> it feels really like I know it's freezing I know it's really cold but like I don't know it just feels a bit magical <laughs> maybe it's because we're seeing Harry Potter though Guys, we've just come out. Ignore the flashing lights. There's a police car there. But Nick has just bought me this little owl. Now I've got a little memory for Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I'm gonna treasure this forever. I was really debating whether to buy it or not, and then Nick bought it. I was like, oh. We've just come out of the second show. A fucking show, honestly. It's so emotional seeing characters who like are obviously dead in the Wizarding World as we know it. Like people like Snape and Dumbledore, and then getting to see them in this like oh man we'll speak about it more when we get to the hotel because i just need to i need to formulate my words but like 
they they did something as well in the show, like where the special effects basically extended to the entire theatre, like not just on the stage, like all around the theatre. It was so impressive. It was so cool. Like everyone looked around. It was like wow. Like it was just sick. And look what we we're about to approach: House of Spells. Our hotel is right there. And then this is the view. They've got frappes here. Damn. That's cool. They've got this. They've got this. Oh, looks Yeah, this is quite expensive. I so can't lie. Six pound for some Oreo bites, bro. This is like cinema prices. Oh, they've got this in the hotel, like where you can just like buy some stuff. And it's so expensive. What the hell? But anyways, yeah, we're staying at the um the Tower Hotel in London. It's literally like right by Tower Bridge. Do we want to do stairs or even the cards feel nice? I've just checked in, literally holding a teddy bear. What do, what must they think? My unidentified name. I will haven't signed on the name yet. This is the uh, the view from our hotel room. How sick! But also the side of the building is literally here and then behind the side of the building is where Terra Bridge is. But how pretty, honestly, I think this is so nice. What a nice little view and the room's really nice as well. Oh, I love this. So this is the room. Nick has already gotten comfortable, I see. The bed looks like a nice size to be fair. I like this because I like to not be like, have anyone touching me when I'm sleeping, you know what I mean? <laughs> already made a bit of a mess with that stuff, but you know. There we go. It's very spacious though. I wonder how much it is to stop here at night. Well, look on me. Some little waters for the room. Um, but yeah, it's actually really nice. Right, I haven't even looked in the bathroom yet, actually. Okay. Quite nice, quite nice. Makeup's got a bit of a uh, bit of wear and tear from the day. Oh, you know what, Nick? Nice bathroom, pretty nice bathroom, pretty decent. So I've just had a shower and I'm just standing here in the towel and I've turned the lights out. Nick's just gone downstairs. And like, imagine just living here and overlooking this view, like how stunning. And in the morning as well, it'll be just as pretty. Like, oh, I'm so, I'm so gassed. I'll be so for real right now. This is exactly the life I need to be living. Freshly showered, soft, white, fluffy towel, overlooking the Thames, stunning views in a gorgeous hotel room with an insane looking room service like are you for real my only issue is that we're not here for longer than one night like i'm so obsessed and we have to check out tomorrow at like 11 and it's currently like 11 p.m already so by the time we go to sleep say we go to sleep at like one we're not gonna have many errors here which is such a shame the room service is looking very tempting. Look at the vanilla cheesecake, are you joking? But I need to update you guys on the cursed child because oh my goodness gracious, it was so good. I cried like a baby. There were some beautiful moments in there and we heard from Professor Snape um, and obviously he's dead in the wizarding world so i can't really explain how we get to hear from professor snape but we do we also hear from albus dumbledore in the form of you know a sort of wizarding painting where he can sort of speak to us from the dead um even though it's sort of just a memory it's not really him mcgonagall is in it uh we've got harry ron and hermione in it we've got harry ron and hermione's children and of course Ginny. Um, we've got Draco and Draco's son. My only complaint would be that Hagrid was not, like, believable to me. Like, his accent, it was like the guy who played him was an American, had an American accent. Um, and that came through with some of the words. And that's genuinely the only criticism of the entire play. Like, that for me is definitely up there with one of the best plays I've seen. I think I say this every single time that I've seen a theatre show. Well, actually, no, I don't. But I said that the last time I saw a theatre show, which was An Officer and a Gentleman, I really enjoyed that. But this, compared to that, this is on, like, a whole different level. Like, I'm surprised that I was able to, like, sit there and watch two sort of back-to-back theatre shows and not get bored. But there was not one point where I was, like... I want to stop watching this. Like I was actually upset when it ended and that's how you know that it's a good theatre show. <laughs> Just updating the vlog. Do you have anything that you want to say about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child? Either part one or part two? I thought it was amazing. The only thing I really didn't like and I think really let it down was the Hagrid. I literally just said this. Honestly, <laughs> I just can't get over like the the weird was, American accent. It was really comical. Everybody was. It was. You know what it, I mean? There was at one point where he came on stage at the very end and I just heard Nick laugh. He went. <laughs> Like, you know, I was just like, oh god, is <laughs> that? Is that comfortable? No, it's fair. It, it was. It was just the accent for me. But everything else, I honestly couldn't fault it. Like, it was just 
magical from start to finish. Like I cried, I laughed. There were some moments I was just like, oh, this is just amazing. It was therefore one of my favourite theatre shows. I think it's my favourite. Yeah, I'm trying to work out if it's my favourite ever. Because I've been to Lion King, which was was good, but... And Wicked. Wicked. I think Wicked was probably a bit better than Lion King. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wicked's a bit better than Lion King for me too. So it's Potter, Wicked, Lion King for me. That's fair. It's definitely up there for me. I don't know what would be number one. It might, it might be number one, but I'd have to sit, look, sit and proper think about it. But yeah, it was truly, you truly yourself amazing. a Harry Potter fan? Despicable. No, but like, you know what? Honestly, when it ended as well, I was honestly really upset that it ended. Like, I just <laughs> wanted the magic to continue. Like, I was so in the story that I just wanted it to keep going and going. And like, this is the like, most, this is the amazing thing about Harry Potter. Like, you, j- you just can keep building on the world. And look, I don't understand how it's lived on for so long. Like, it's obviously like amazing, Wars, but it's just... Star Wars is insane. I wish they'd bloody do more like they do with Star Wars. Though. They need, they need Disney to leave the show sell the rights, will she? Good for her, though. George Lucas wouldn't know. It took, it, oh. it took 30 years for George Lucas to... Oh, fair to play. Disney. I understand why you'd want to keep ownership of your I work, think you sold though. little bits of it, like, where they could do spin-off series, yeah. and, like, during, like, cartoons and stuff. Majority of films he wouldn't let people make. I, I, I get it, I think. What's Just have really fond memories. I haven't decided we're going to give her a name, but I can't. You know what? For some reason, I want to call it Severus. <gasps> like, after seeing Snape again and seeing how... Call it Delphi. Impactful. No. No way. Yeah. No. Big way. No, because she's everything that I don't want, though. You know? I don't stand for what she stands for. She just wanted her dad. No, she didn't, though. She wanted the darkness to rise again. No, she wanted her dad. Yeah, but she, she never had a dad. Darkness to rise She just again. wanted her dad. Then. Well, I'm not going to be her dad. Have you seen the little tea and coffee drawer? The mini bar doesn't open. Not really, no. They, they've... They've what? They've let their soul down. Yeah, that's not the best, to be fair. I just had a shower as well. The shower actually wasn't the nicest. But, like, I ain't complaining. I think the reason this hotel is, like, expensive is because of the view. Right. And it is nice and it's big and the rooms are really nice as well. But um, yeah, the shower I've had I've had better showers, you know. But still really nice, not complaining at all because it's beautiful. Um, <laughs> no, no complaints. It's literally like unreal. In the show, they touch on lots of things. It literally looks like I'm naked, but I do have a towel on. Um, in the show, they touch on lots of things. Like for example, I'm not, I'm trying not my hardest not to give away any spoilers here. But, for example, Harry has a conversation with Dumbledore. Harry sort of, like, has a bit of a go at him for, like, leaving him alone to, to like, battle, deal with all this, like, Voldemort stuff in the past. Um, and he has, like, quite an open and honest conversation with him and Dumbledore kind of admits that he wasn't the best, he's made mistakes kind of thing. And I think that's kind of what the fans wanted and needed. There's lots of contention, isn't there, about, like, whether or not Dumbledore is good or whether he's bad, whether he's, like, morally grey. I think he's good. I can see why people say he's morally grey. And I can't see why people say he's bad. He's, like, you're not giving the spoilers away, are you? Yeah. yeah. There were certain parts of it that I thought, oh, that was yeah. nice how they did that. Touching. Like, you know, when... Um, but obviously gone back and they've done the final battle and then big bad comes along, don't they? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And they just sort of sit back. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought that was nice. I thought that was a nice little touch, you know. What it like? The Chinese father of the farmer and his son. <sighs> What the shi- Nick's obsessed with Chinese proverbs, by the I'll way. I tell you all the time what? about the one about the farmer and the son. What is it? Give me a quick overview. When the son lose the horse, the horse come back with lots of wild horses, and then he trade in the horse and he break his leg. But then I've never heard this in my life. Yeah, so, so obviously that was the the bad thing, wasn't it? He lost the yeah. horse, but then the horse come back with loads of new horses. Right. And the caught them all. Do you know okay. what I mean? So they ended up with 20 horses. But then when he was training those 20 horses, he fell off one and he broke his leg. Oh. But then the army come. And it was like, well, it's national service. You've got to sign up. Anybody, sons that are 16, do you know what I mean? You've got to come and fight. And he got a broken leg, so this is all right. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that was, like... The good part. Of right, it. I see. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I see the connection that you're making. Anyways, listen, we're going to go just simply enjoy the room. Um, oh, God. Thoughts are all over the place, but, like, the overall theme is that I fucking loved it and wanted, well, I want to see it every single day of my life. I it is in the morning, hopefully. Hopefully I will wake up for breakfast to utilise it. It's the next morning now, and you can probably tell from the mess behind me that we are about to check out. This bed, by the way, so comfortable. 
like literally like had actually quite a nice night's sleep had breakfast this morning the breakfast included in the hotel was actually pretty good as well to be fair um and it's like 5 to 11 about to check out and then yeah we're gonna go have a little bit of a day in london exploring i genuinely woke up this morning still thinking about harry potter and the cursed child <laughs> like that's how obsessed i am um there's also a starbucks in the hotel nick noticed it and he was like we need to get you a starbucks this morning and i'm like this is why i love you nick bye room Bye room. We're gonna um, go for a little walk. Look at Tower Bridge, oh man. Look how frilly it looks. <laughs> the sky garden and i forgot how much i like this place look how pretty the views out of over london are and then you've got all this greenery as well how lovely here he is the keeper of the bags <laughs> We have picked up the goods. I've got five donuts in here from Donut Time. How exciting. <laughs> um, and I've got a free one as well because of my loyalty card. So we've got four for a video that we're gonna give a try tomorrow. I'll have a little mukbang and then we've just got one to share on the train now. Back to Houston. For some reason he's decided to stand on a different escalator to me. Hello guys, it is the next day now and we're back home from London and I basically just wanted to give this vlog a little bit of an outro. Honestly, we had like the best weekend. It was so, so, so magical seeing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Like, I still haven't quite like formulated my thoughts on it because I'm still like quite like overwhelmed by it. This vlog probably seems like really lame and really nerdy if you're not like a big Harry Potter fan and you don't get the Harry Potter thing. Like I totally get it. But the Harry Potter franchise to me is something that's like really meaningful and really special and like really close to my heart and it's something that I shared with my dad and my dad is no longer with us unfortunately so whenever I read Harry Potter, watch Harry Potter, see anything sort of Harry Potter related it does make me feel like really closely connected with him and it kind of feels like a way of keeping him close to me by sort of still being so heavily invested in the series um obviously i love the series aside from the connection with my dad and um, i think it's like so well thought out so cleverly written like the creativity is insane like i love the characters and like you know what i was thinking this the other day when i was watching the theater show i was like why does Harry Potter live on so much? Like why years and years and years after its inception, after its creation, after the books have been released, after the movies have been released, why do we still have, you know, so many fans posting on social media about it? Why do we still have a theatre show? Why do we have a new HBO series coming out? Why do we still have endless merch, endless shops dedicated to it, social media accounts dedicated to it? Like it's just still evolving and growing like years and years after its inception. And like, that's like, insanely impressive and obviously the reason why that happens is because the fans are keeping it alive and obviously you know jk rowling is obviously sort of doing more things with it 
um, and people are doing more things like the HBO series, like producers. Um, but like the core of that is that the fans want to see more of it. And I was trying to think about why it's still so impactful and why people are still so like obsessed with this sort of magical world and still like, really excited to be a part of it and why we all still love it. And I think personally, it's because obviously it's about magic and it's about witches and wizards and you know that whole fantasy aspect of it is like cool if you're interested in fantasy and like it's really interesting in itself. But I also think that the sort of core of what what Harry Potter and the series is about is sort of about the everyday magic that you can find in just everyday life. So the love that you have for your friends and the love that we have for adventure and just the little things that make everyday life so special like loyalty and friendship and bravery and I think the messaging is actually like really quite pure and good and it's how you know good trumps evil and love can protect you and love can keep us going and how happiness can be found in the darkest of times and how the ones that love us never truly leave us and just so many other great sort of you know quotes and teachings and I think that's kind of what it stayed with us all because when we're watching these things it really touches our heart because we all have some sort of like reference point that means that what we're seeing affects us and that's sort of my theory that it's because it's sort of reminds us of the magic that we experience in everyday life and the magic that we experience from people and obviously Dumbledore is full of fantastic quotes isn't he um, but I really like this one quote and it's that words are our most inexhaustible source of magic and I think it's so true because the words that you say to people that can truly be magical and it can make you feel certain ways that are hard to describe other than a magical feeling um but yeah this has been very cringe now so i'm gonna stop going on but yeah i'm just feeling really like connected to the series because it really was just so magical and honestly the tickets for harry potter and the cursed child were you know very kindly a gift from nick um they were a christmas present to me i'm just so grateful to have had this experience with him we had the best time like nick absolutely adored the show too like we were both just like in awe of it um and then we had like the loveliest time as well just walking around the next day exploring london um when going to leadenhall market which was the inspiration for diagon alley and was actually like used for filming in like a couple of the earlier films i think yeah, this may be like the most nerdy vlog i've ever uploaded but listen i'm i i loved it i loved every second if you do get a chance to go please do tickets are very expensive i must say tickets are very expensive i've been having a think about it and i think it is the best theater show i've ever seen so yeah 100 percent 155 percent would recommend like that show completely has my heart and i would genuinely go see it again in the future even though it's kind of a whole day commitment thank you so much for watching this vlog i do hope you guys enjoyed and obviously if you're a harry potter fan if you enjoy my vlogs please do subscribe because i love speaking to the subscribers on my channel who are just constantly leaving me harry potter related comments it's so cute um but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one <laughs>